Hello everyone, thanks for signing into this video. Uh, welcome to my garden on Easter weekend uh, 2019. I promise I won't take up much of your time at all. Okay, there are four things I want to mention to you in this video. The first one is the Erasmus Plus scheme and my visit to uh, Thomas More University in Belgium. But also a couple of uh, Adobe programs which are free to each and every one of us and to our students. And those programs are on the Adobe Creative Cloud menu. One of them is called Rush and the other one is Spark. And the final thing I want to mention to you is something called Zoom which you'll find on zoom.us and again that's a free product. Okay, the Erasmus Plus scheme. This is available to us as long as the UK remains in the European Union and it's for students, uh, support staff and academics to go travelling or learning at various um, uh, institutions across the European Union. So I was really fortunate a few weeks ago to have gone to Belgium uh, to Thomas More University. They have something called uh, an International Week that they put on once a year and it's a wonderful opportunity. They get specialist experts from different countries to go to their university and then to present in English to all of their students. So it gives the students an opportunity to learn in English but also on topic areas that they probably wouldn't have covered during their studies at the university. It's a university-wide programme, uh, but obviously I was in the Faculty of Health and um, all of my work was with uh, nurses, midwives and with social workers. And uh, th that included staff as well as um, uh, students. Now, just at this moment, one of my little doggies is trying to climb up on my lap, so he's going to have to sit here with me. OK, this is Theo. Now, um, I've written up my report for uh, the, the Erasmus Plus scheme using Adobe Spark. It's a really spectacular website, um, so easy to use. You can type in there, so there's written stuff, but also there are different ways of putting in photographs. And and I le learned a brand new way this time. It's called Photo Glide. And if you check the, the website, you'll see that. And I've also put a couple of very brief videos in there. Most of them are humorous. And sadly, they, they've all got me with heavy breathing in the background. So feel free to have a look at that. I'm going to be exploring how I can start using this now in the classroom on some of my courses, because it would be spectacular for our students to learn how to use these free products. So I'm going to explore ways um, of using these as assignment materials. OK, so that's Adobe Spark is the page uh, uh, to, to, to write things on. But uh, Adobe Rush is a very easy to use video editing service. So I'll use it on this particular video too now. But also it's what I edited the videos in in that Adobe Spark um, report page. So please have a look at that when you get time because you may want to use that for some of your own students as well and I'm more than willing to do tutorials on all of this. Uh, see one, do one, teach one. It's that philosophy. And the, th the final program I want to talk to you about is something called Zoom which is on uh, zoom.us. Uh, personally, I think it's much better than Skype. It's certainly better than Adobe Connect, which I do use in the classroom. On my recent HIV course, uh, I had one student in Germany, one in Jersey, and if some of the London-based students couldn't come into campus on particular days, they'd um, uh, be virtually present with us as well. So I started off by using Adobe Connect with them all, but then I found out about Zoom. Now, it's free to sign up for an account, and you can use it exactly like Skype on one-to-one -one meetings, but if you use it with more than three cameras, then you're limited to 40 minutes per session. It's fantastic for sharing screens, so if you're using uh, um, PowerPoint or Prezi or you want to demonstrate something on your screen, literally at one click of the button and you're sharing your screen with them. It's a fantastic and really easy to use product. Uh, there are quite a few of us at the university using it, I've started paying for my own account now so that I can have longer than the 40 minutes with more than three cameras on the go. Um, but hopefully at some point the university is going to ditch 
some of its services and um, a few of us are advocating that maybe we could swap over to this really easy fantastic to get a wider audience not just the people available in our classrooms but those who can't make it to class as well and there's an easy record button on there so if you do record that just as with panopto you can record that session as well okay i'm finding it useful for doing one-to-one -one tutorials uh, group work and especially classroom stuff Okay, so that's uh, four things that I've mentioned to you. The Erasmus Plus scheme, please try and travel now before, um, before Brexit happens. Please try and travel uh, before anything like Brexit ever happens to us. But if not, maybe we should be thinking of this as a university as well, that we could be holding these international weeks and getting experts from other countries to come and talk to our students and staff. Okay, thanks for listening. It's bye-bye from him and bye-bye from me. Ta-ta.